Beer review. I'm Jammer. I am Shag Dog. And Boy, Jorge couldn't hold that one in, so we took it out early. Yeah. Modelo Shalada Especial. Yes. Uh, beer Advocate gives this one a 66, 3.5% ABV, and it is considered a fruit and field beer. I tried to get the mango and chili one for Jammer because it does have a little bit of heat. Not really hot, but it yeah. lingers. I thought it was pretty good, but unfortunately, they didn't have that one. They were sold out. And this is a 24-ounce can. Which means two beers. Yep. One each. I mean, good. Got a gnat going around there. That's him. He likes the chilada. It's a Mexican gnat. Mexican. I was just thinking about carbonated tomato. Oh, uh, yeah. <laughs> <laughs> hey, next time we need to go out and sing a little mile, I think. Pick up some fat Mexican girls. What do you think? <laughs> or even a little, you know, slightly overweight. Uh, you know, the problem is is that uh, I remember as a kid, I think, oh, man, some of these girls, these Hispanic girls in school, man, man they're little hotties, you know, yeah. and all that stuff, and and then I, I remember the old saying, you know, just look at their mother. and <laughs> Yeah, and that's with any girl, actually. And uh, I, I, I'd see them going to the jump in the car with their mom and all that stuff and see yeah. their mom or whatever. I'm like, yeah. yeah, that's you in the next 20 years, you know. Yeah, well, you remember that girl we used to work at a juice plant, we used to work in Bear Room down there, and then she went to QA solely. Yeah. Solely died. She works at Wendy's now. Mm hmm. She looks pretty much the same, but you can tell... A little plumper. I mean, come on. I haven't seen her in um, how many years, but a little bit of belly on her. Mm -hmm. Not that much different, but a little bit, and just just aged up where she's not that cute little girl anymore. Mm -hmm. She's she's her mother. Yeah. Or getting to be her mother. <laughs> or her father. No twinkle in the eye. I never saw her father or mother. But I heard her father was a mean bastard. But... No twinkle in the eye. Uh, she still has a little bit of twinkle in her eye, but not like she did when she was 20. Okay. <laughs> <laughs> or however old she was back then. All right. Well, this has got a pale tomato, watered down look. Mm, tomato yeah. juice, you know, type watered down yeah, look. Yeah. So it's a tomato beer, basically. Yeah. It does have a strong tomato. It does, like tomato paste almost. Mm. I think they use a real paste. I don't think it's artificial tomato or anything. No, it's real paste. Way better than Bud Light gelato. All right. Let's give it a shot. Cheers. Cheers, my friend. Okay. You know, this is not actually bad. Yeah. Now, I don't know if they use actual tomato juice or if they use Kalamato juice. I can't read the small print in there or anything, but let's see. Where's the ingredients? Oh, so, I man. With the refreshing flavors of tomato, salt, and lime. Uh, there we go. Now we got a Jammer fan joining us. What? What kind of nonsense is this? Making a lot of noise. He's farting? There he is. Wow. He just appeared, too. It like yeah, it just magically appeared. That's weird. How'd you do that? Right. He's wearing his little ski hat. Yeah. We just got off the slopes, people. Hey. Just in from the slopes. Hey, you don't have a headset or what? Hey, oh, guys, doing, it out. doing it out of necessity. Sesame. You're going to have some se sesame? So I can wear it. So. He talks like an alien. <laughs> I don't know what you've done to your. Oh computer. man, I think I'm having some lag right now. I guess, guys. Sorry. It's all right. It's a uh, shag uh, it's computer. Yeah, it could be my computer. Uh, just come out. Come back. Wait. Say something now. So, I, heard, I, heard, oh, uh, I heard there was lag because of Cinco de Mayo on some oh, of the beer. Right. Streaming stuff like I, I've heard, heard other people have problems today because, oh. the because it's COVID single de Mayo, oh. nobody can go out. 
What? In Florida, they're, they're what? just down the street at the Mexican restaurants. There's a crowd. Yeah. We don't give a shit about COVID. Right. <laughs> Everybody else is still in lockdown in here. Well, sorry. Guys, I always drop out if I'm... Yeah, drop out and come back in. You're breaking up. You got a headset, microphone? Maybe it's our feedback. I don't know. Well, let me help you. Yeah. <laughs> How you doing now? Okay. Let me help you. <laughs> Click. You're booted. <laughs> I like that. That's funny. Let me help you. <laughs> yeah, it must be all those Mexicans over in where he's at, Colorado, getting online, zooming. California, Colorado, New Mexico. You can't go outside. You think a Mexican's going to listen to all that and not celebrate today? No. I don't think so either. Because this is an opportunity for family and friends to get together and yeah. celebrate. It's a, a very historical day, really. It's when they beat the shit out of the French. Mm -hmm. Gained independence. Yeah. It's like our 4th of July. And pretty much probably saved the North because the French, that French army that was in Mexico was going to go help the South, supposedly. So he's having problems coming on back. I guess. I haven't seen him yet. Let's ask if he needs a link again. Do you need a link sent again? All right, anyhow, this beer. It's not bad. I really kind of enjoy it. It reminds me of a Bloody Mary. We got Jammer fan joining us because he's been sending us messages off camera to our, my Facebook. And he sounded like he was jealous and he wanted to join in. Mm -hmm. I don't do that to him when he's helping you co-host. All right. Make <laughs> <Nicholas. laughs> Uh, anyhow, I like this beer. It's, it's, I can only drink so many of these though, because it's a little yeah, heavy. It's, it's a rich, heavy, tomato y type flavor. Uh, what it needs is some little bit of olive and a little dirty juice from the olive. Yeah. You can tell it's tomato paste though, with wa basically watered down some, whatever the tomato juice is. It's actual made from tomato paste, I think. Mm hmm. So. And that's what we made our tomato juice with at the juice plant. Remember those barrels of tomato paste? It's like a big can of freaking mm. tomato paste. That's what it was. Yep. Oh, jammer fan. Well, I think we lost them. I'm amazed. Maybe we rebooted his whole computer, so that's why it's taking so long. But this is my favorite chalada. I would love to get my hands on their uh, picante one because they have a picante one out. And they have a lime salt one also. So I, it's this without some tomato juice. Well, that has tomato salt. and lime salt. Yeah, but the lime salt chalada don't have tomato in it. Hmm. It's just called Modelo Lime Salt Chalada. Hmm. And what does chalada mean? Uh, it means you get a chalada tomato. <laughs> <laughs> Why don't you look that up? Translate it. I don't think there's actual translate it. Let's check. What does chalada mean in English? Well, first of all, I'm not going to understand you. Chulada means cool in Spanish. That's different. That's chulada, not chalada. What does chalada mean in English? Spanish. Chulada. Spanish for cool. Just type it. Okay, I've got it. Uh, C H E L A D A. All right. All this means all this. All this? Yeah. All this. So, Modelo, all this. With refreshing flavors of tomato, salt, and lime. I guess. Well, actually, Modelo. All this is special with refreshing flavors of tomato, salt, and lime. Oh, there you go. 
So that's what it means. Hmm. Well, I don't know where Jammer Fan is. We lost him. Yeah, no, that's so that's for sure. He got it, but he never responded back. Do you need a link? Oh, so there he is. Again. Sometimes that's how retarded. Shut up, little man. Hi. Seems to be working out, guys. Yeah. All those Mexicans must get off line over there in Colorado. No, I put on my, my urban sombrero, and it, it suddenly right, that's it. That's it. being that's able that's to that's come on. Sombrero on. That did yeah. it. The airwaves just... I got my sombrero toupee on. Man, it looks too fish. <laughs> what's this part right here? It's a hairline. I think guys, I don't know what's going on. That's a high hairline. Oh, now you're lagging again. Ah. It, it's amazing. I think I remember you having hair here before. Oh, that's always been the eye. No, I think you have oh, hair. because you comb over. Oh shit! Is that what you do? Okay, You're no. losing it. Yeah, <laughs> just falling right out. Are you lagging there, Jammer fan? I mean, my internet's usually good, guys. I don't know. It's Cinco de Mayo. Anything goes, right? Okay. All right, all right. You seem to be okay. If I don't move, if I stay really still, it seems to move. work. Yeah, if you think single day mile is bad, wait till DS day mile. All right. I'm going to attempt to show you guys what I'm drinking. Hold on. Yes. Can you guys see the elephant? Uh -oh. Is the elephant clear? Yeah. That's the one Shag Dog really loved, and uh, he wanted to taste it twice, so he threw it up. Yeah. <laughs> nice. Well, I put some lime in there as per our conversation on uh, Messenger. So this is a uh, lime delirium. Nobody's ever had this ever. I don't think. I don't think anybody. Well, nobody has been as bold and adventurous yeah. as Jammer fan. So I the got the, I, this is like an adventurer hat. I'm ready. I need a machete. I'm just like slicing yeah, through or norms. Or I cut your norms down. Well, what's the name? Uh, Indiana Jones. Indiana Jones. Yeah. And, and I hate to remind Cohen you guys, but it's a pink elephant, so we're hitting the LGBTQ crowd and everything. Look at that. I mean, like, I'm, I'm blazing. Colorado. Wait, you might be hitting just, it. Yeah. yeah. He's representing I'm just, just chopping down norms, you guys. Like, if I want to, if I want to live a happy life with an elephant, I should be able to do that, right? That's like libertarian. If you want to live a gay life with an elephant? <laughs> Which gay means happy for those that yeah, then that's I should out. be able to do that, right? If I yeah. wanted to, I'm not saying I want to, but if I wanted to, it's my right. it's my right. Even if you're five years old, <laughs> you know, five year olds. I want to be a girl. And now you're getting into the whole pedophile stuff that they're legalizing. Well, there's that too. The pedophiles are saying it's my orientation. I like children. They're trying to get it legalized. Mm -hmm. I'm going to let Shag Dog handle that whole conversation. Yeah. Well, go, here's go that one comedian. He had a really good skit in Saturday Night Live. I loved it. He got in trouble about something because he sexually harassed a woman or something. But his whole skit in Saturday Night Live was like, a children, you know, you know, they just taste good, you know. you know, Who who can blame them? They just taste so damn good, you know. Or I forget what the hell he's talking about, but it was like kind of like over the edge, but it was funny at the same time. Well, you know what that reminds me of? When you start to tell a joke and you don't know the punchline correctly. Right. That's a lot of time. Yeah. yeah. When you do that. It's funny. No. No. That whole story is that way. You yeah. started with the story and you had a point, but then you've completely lost us because yeah. you didn't. Uh, yeah. Well, he was talking about pedophile know exactly in the what neighborhood. He was about. And, like, the pedophile kids were missing. I mean, who could blame them? You know, they taste great. Jammer fans on the move. He's on the hunt. For another I'm actually hunt I'm hunting for my uh um my charger for my laptop so that I don't like my laptop doesn't die. So but my cat is making a, oh, my cat was almost mistake. making a oh uh, yeah Hold my cat's making a Hold on Jammer fan. Let me do a thing so I'm not you know criminalized. Yeah, him. Jammer fan, you gotta take his cues because he gets upset. Wait. I don't Wait, condone, what, what's I being do criminalized? Or do I condone Children condoning to it either. Oh, I don't correct. think children have the right to condone sexual 
intercourse with an adult, and I don't think they should become women or men. All right. Uh, all right. I'm. I'm okay. That's cool. All right. We'll go with that. <laughs> <laughs> I'm just saying. I, I, the pedophiles want to say it's their orientation, and then you got kids saying, "I have the right too because I want to be." I'm, I feel like I'm a woman or a man inside. Now they both have rights, so I guess pedophiles might be able to get. Exactly. But how many kids are out there saying, "I have a right to be with an adult"? I'm five. And that's my choice. Well, you're diving deep. I'm diving deep. Yeah. Okay. Yeah, really. <laughs> Bottoming out this whole celebration of Cinco de Mayo. Happy Cinco de Mayo, my little amigos and amigas. I'm gonna, I'm, I'm gonna pour more of this Belgian beer. How about that, guys? Let's do something beer related. Okay. There you go. Jammer took forever and his chilada, but I did it. Have you guys had this one before? Have you got? I mean, I know Shag Dog has. Have you had this jammer? Obviously, Delirium Tremens. Have you? Uh, had this yeah, me and him both did a review on that way, way, yeah. way back uh, when we had uh, uh, Wilson. Yeah, when Not we had Wilson, Wilson. I'm sorry, Franklin. Franklin, or was it Spalded? I can't remember. Franklin. Was it Franklin? Yeah, Franklin. Yeah, it was Franklin. Wasn't it? Yeah. And uh, yeah, we had our FedEx package with the golden wings, but we had golden beer mugs. Mm-hmm. And uh, I don't know if you remember that one. We were at a pool deck. That's when we didn't show our faces. So we had the package in the uh, pool. I think I remember that, yeah. We had a, a set of a volleyballs, a soccer ball, I think, Franklin soccer soccer ball mm. with a handprint on it yeah. of blood. Yeah. Jammer actually cut his hand open and said, this, let's see if this works. Mm. Got blood all over his hand, put it there, mm. and then we let it dry, and it actually stayed on there for a while. Mm. I don't. I don't know if I remember that part, but <laughs> well, we didn't show the cutting part. And uh, he, he <laughs> got to the point where we were. That was our Maytoberfest. Yeah, it was March 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 Toberfest. Yeah, March. And then we were doing a lot of German beers, and uh, he got up to the this Belgium stuff, and uh, he was already uh, well past his prime. Yeah, and may I point out also back then I worked eight hour shifts, but I worked midnight to eight, and that's one of those days he wanted let's start at eleven, so I couldn't go home and go to sleep. So and we did it at my parents' house because they had an above ground pool, you know, a little deck. Yeah, nice, nice, right, nice. Okay. So I got there, we got there. So now I gotta go home after getting sick from the delirium and it's like four or five in the afternoon by the time we're done. And, but yeah, he uh he, he drank it but then it yeah, uh, he wanted to taste it again. So yeah, it was, it was horrible. I ate Belgium stuff. Ugh. Well, I got a question for you guys. Um, what's the ABV on that chalada? Uh, Three point five, I think. Five? Is it is it the same as we did a couple of days ago, man? Like the is it the same as the mango chili? It must be. Yeah, was that three point five? Three point five. Yeah, mostly three point yeah. five. And I wanted Jammer to do the mango e chili. But they didn't have any more. I was upset. Ah, uh, yeah. Sorry, yeah, I was, we, we've done this before. I will say this much: I drank this, and up to the last little bit, it was like, okay, it was good, it's good. And then the last little bit, it's like, oh, oh god. I well, like the mango eat, the mango eat chili tastes like um V eight fusion. You know, the food. mango. fusion, like um, it, it tastes like V eight, dude. Like if you get yourself some like V eight fruit fusion. Yeah, it tastes like V8, man. That stuff was like V8. The V8 tastes better though. Probably, yeah. But it doesn't have alcohol in it though. So what are you gonna do, dude? What are you gonna do? Add vodka. <laughs> yeah, <that's true. laughs> I like beer better. Probably vodka. cheaper. Probably cheaper. But yeah. can I add a beer into the mango V8? Hey, it's that's what you just. That's when you just buy the Modelo, man. The Modelo is convenient. It was convenient right. when I went to go buy some. Yeah. It wasn't convenient today because I didn't have any of those ones, so I was very upset. <laughs> so I'm sorry, guys. He was raising hell from what I heard. Uh, there was a little alert that came out on uh, the Ring uh, neighborhood stuff. Yeah. They yeah. said that a guy was going crazy down at the Wawa. Yeah. He told <laughs> Mexican kids hostages until he got his mango chalada. <laughs> Well, yeah. well, Jim, you could all, you could, and it wasn't hot, but it kept it stayed it lingered in your mouth a little bit of heat. I liked it. You like it to linger in your mouth? The heat, yeah. 
I, I have a feeling that Jammer probably refuses to watch the episodes I'm in. He's like, fuck that. Oh, no, no. I, I, I refuse to watch any episode without me. <laughs> <laughs> it's not just you. <laughs> no, I, I, I just haven't watched any of them. It's not like I can put them on at work and let them play in the background. So he used to have a job like that years ago where he could. Yeah. And he, that's that where he sucks. Yeah, that's editing. true. He was at work editing videos all day. Hey, how's it going? Back to the video. Yeah. Right. <laughs> oh, come on. Oh, he'd have to stop. He'd be upset. Oh, fuck that, this fucker. Hold on. Because we'd be video chatting sometimes on that when he was at work, too. He goes, hey, hey. he'd have to talk for five minutes. And I'm like, fuck, oh, fuck I'm waiting five fucking minutes. Yeah. And he'd come back on it. So it was fun. Mm. No, I haven't seen a lot of the episodes that uh, Shane and uh, oh, Shag, Dog. Shag Dog and his, uh, P. Diddy or uh, with you and uh, Shag Dog. I haven't seen uh, any, practically any of them because I haven't had the time to watch them. No, he's not a big fan. He's not a Jammer fan no. or a Shag Dog fan. <laughs> or a Jammer fan fan. And I, I, have <laughs> yeah, I used to watch them. Back in the day, especially when I was editing them, yeah, you know, I I would see it over again. I say, oh, that was damn funny, and then I was just laughing and all that stuff. Or no, oh, that sucked. That really sucked. But oh well, you know, <laughs> that was a boring uh, video and that kind of thing. But uh, when I'm not editing them, you know, I, I don't get to see them. Yeah. Oh yeah, I for sure. Them yeah. Back then, but I would watch them from my Shag Dog account. So we got a view, we got a like. Matter of fact, they banned us one time because I tried to watch the video twice. And the Obama commercial came up back when we had the AdSense, and we got. I said, "How much we? Hey, we just made a dollar." I, I watched the whole Obama election video. It was like two thousand eight or not? Two thousand yeah, somewhere yeah. around there. Wait, no, not two thousand eight. Two thousand twelve when he ran the second time, right? And uh. I was like, well, shit, let me watch it again, and nothing. I'm like, oh, shit, I guess it, it catches the IP address. But, okay, we didn't make another dollar, but then they, they hit us with that video saying someone's trying to yeah. multiple watch stuff, you know, or something. I was yeah. like, oh, screw you. Give me my money. <laughs> We're stars. They just, they're just blocking us. Yeah. Yeah. Hey, ever see the show? It used to be on HDTV. There's a channel called HDTV or something. I don't even know if it's around anymore. But there's these two dudes. They go to different bars around the country. They go to the bar, show them their special drink, and they make it themselves. Okay, how do you put? What do you put in one ounce? Oh, one ounce. They pour like about two or three ounces in there. Oh, what else? You, and they mix their own drink. And they, the one guy was like, kind of like me. The more serious one was like Jammer. But the one guy was like, yeah, I don't give a shit. Let me drink it. You know, get drunk, get tore up. They had a show. I'm like, oh my god, how come we didn't get called for that one? You know, I'll take that show. I'll get drunk and you can pay me. <laughs> Do you enjoy your work? Yeah, <laughs> I don't remember it, but I think I enjoyed it. <laughs> so, how's your delirium tremors? I mean, I put the lime in it too. It was off camera because we had that initial. Uh, uh, mess up, but uh, yeah, um, I guess the original is really bubble gummy, and then you add the lime in, and it, it tastes kind of like um, I'm bubble getting some of those lime. Jolly Rancher notes you were talking about on that last <laughs> that last beer. Oh, what'd you say? I I, I didn't hear you. I jamming. said bu bubble gummy lime. <laughs> is that that? Yeah, bubble gummy. I, didn't, I, like I guess I said. He said bubblegummy, so we added the lime, bubblegummy yeah. lime. Yeah, yeah bubblegummy lime. I don't know. Is that, that's not a valid thing? I thought that was like something that like official tasters were like, oh, this tastes bubblegummy lime. Yeah. Like, it's, it's a, this is the fine Chardonnay. It, I get the bubblegummy lime from this palette. It's got earthy notes. With bubblegummy lime. Bubble gummy lime. <laughs> But hey, it's the best I can do with what you guys gave me. You're like, ah, hey, come on, what do you got? I, I couldn't. I, so I got plenty of mountain. I got enough mountain time to get me through the apocalypse. But I've already reviewed that with Shag Dog four times now. Ask him about mountain time. He's gonna yeah. be like, yeah, this dude reviewed that a bunch. Four times. <laughs> so, 
<laughs> well, that's I like me here recently. Again, I've right. been on this Genesee kick because, uh, you know, I have a bunch, I had 30 pack of Genesee. So I was like, okay. <laughs> that's the only bad thing about going on a beer. Well, if you go up north on a trip, <laughs> you get up north and you go on a beer run, you get a 30 pack and you come back. And if you have it by yourself, it takes forever. Like that. Look, when I did that, I had the uh, Schaefer's. Yeah. Keystone, regular Keystone, and what the hell is that? Oh, uh, the, what the hell is that? One beer to have. The Fire Brewed. Fire Brewed. Uh, yeah. I can't remember any of that beer now. I had like a German name, but it was American. Uh, shit. The other one I had. Oh, well. Ah, that one. Dementia. But that one was hard to oh. get rid of, though. Mm. The other, the third one, whatever it was. That's how good it you was. You should get some of that Prevlogen. Yeah, Prevlogen. Yeah, maybe it'll help you remember. Yeah, what the hell was that? Damn, I can't remember. It's a pill named Prevlogen. No, no, the beer. Uh, <laughs> I can't remember. It was a, a crappy beer. It, it was, it's fire brick fired brewed or some shit. What weird weird brick fired? See, he got bored with you and walked off. Oh, see. Let's see. We'll find it right here. Sorry, I'm having a uh, brick fired bird beer. Hey, what's up? Oh, no, it's like a gay porn film going on oh, at nice. Never Fan's place. Stroh's. Stroh's. That's not yeah. a German beer. No, I had like a German name or something. Stroh's? Yeah, it's kind of like German. Stroh's. I don't know. Anyhow, that's the one I had a hard time getting you or uh, Hot Lip Hula Hand that drink. Mm. Well, she drank them, but you know, she went through my fucking Keystone first. So. Mm-hmm. Keystone flew by. Yeah. Well, well, I think that's gonna do it for this one. It does have the tobacco. It does have the lime and the saltness, the Modelo. It's not something I could drink a lot of, but I do like it. What kind of grade are you gonna give it? Because we never grade you know, it for a chilada. I'm going to give it a B plus. All this? Swallow. All this? Yeah. All this? All what? All, all, all this. Modelo, all this, yeah. Oh. Chilada, yeah. For <laughs> I don't know if that, I don't know if that translates. For all this, For I'm all giving this. it a B. I'm going to give it a B plus a, a swallow. I like it. I can drink a couple of these. Uh, it is a little heavy, though, with the tomato, but. I, I would have to lean on the B minus. Uh. I'd probably rather go with a Bloody Mary. Yeah. But with this, you'd last a little longer than with a Bloody Mary. If you're drinking. I don't know, because I can't drink a lot of this. I could drink several Bloody Marys. I'm talking about alcohol-wise. You know, if that bartender's put a little more than a shot, every Bloody Mary, or you start getting, eh, let's do a double shot of Bloody Mary. Mm-hmm. You start getting a little toasty in this, you might still be buzzed or mm-hmm. slightly drunk, yeah. But I give it a B- and a swallow. It's good. Yeah. What can you say? Hell. Single day miles going down. Hell. We should tell, tell Jared fan, hey, uh, order out some Mexican beer yeah. from Circle K or whatever you got out there. DoorDash it. Hey, guys, if you can hear me, I'm, I'm coming back in. Sorry. Um, we don't hey. want to hear about your porn fantasies. If you uh, – no, uh, you guys get to see me rarely without a hat. I uh, – I've been growing my hair out for the past 10 months. I actually had my head almost shaved, and now I literally have almost a mullet, if you guys can see that. It's yeah. pretty crazy, man. That's how to do it. So, yeah, I had almost a mullet. So. Not really good, but back uh, when I went in quarantine, and when I first went out, people were like, what, you trying to grow a mullet? I'm like, no, that's just the way it grew back in. I'm trying to grow it out a little bit, a little bit longer back here. You know? Well, you used to remember the photos of me. I mean... Oh yeah, my long hair. But, but uh, the first COVID thing happened. Oh yeah, great. I, pol- I hair apologize. Was awesome. though, you covered your as- ear. You had that beard going. You, I don't know why you shaved that beard off. Best beard I ever seen. <laughs> Even though you dyed it, I didn't dye it. Oh, you're you're terrible. You know that. You're so fucking jealous. I'm not. I'm just that saying, I have a full fucking I, head of hair. Right now, I see gray in your chin beard, but when you had the whole beard, I didn't see no gray. Yeah, it was gray. Oh, okay. It was gray. I'm not jealous. I'm just stating the facts. You're gray because I look younger. Uh, you're jealous because I look younger than you. I have fans. Okay. Uh, I, you know. 
<laughs> I, I'll bash myself a little bit, guys. Can you see my bald spot that I've been getting? This is like, can you guys see that right there? Yeah, what is it? It's a. It's like you can see it going along my, you know, I got like a little divot there, dude. It's like a bald spot forming. Can you see yeah. that? It's like just eroding away right there. I think that's a place you could park a matchbox car in there and fill it in. I know. It's like a little parking garage. So, I mean, Jammer might even have a fuller head of, head of hair than me. I mean, I'm getting, I'm starting to get. You know, but Shag Dog, yeah, you got you got you got a bigger divot, Shag Dog. You're you're a, you're a tough man, but we if we zoom in on your head, you're not so tough, are you? <laughs> hey, my head's been like this for years, buddy. I'm super <laughs> tough. I, before I joined the army, all my friends used because I used to have a big park back then. Actually, I think it went this way back then. But my yeah. friends used to pull my hair out. They're like, "You're gonna be bald as soon as they shave your head." But it's about the same. I mean, there's a couple of hairs down here. My hairline probably is down here. Yeah. Years ago, you know. It's still there. I'm a little bald in the back. You know, I'm not ashamed. You're not. Are you bald in the back? Yeah. That's getting a little thin back there. Yeah. But uh, so yeah, I'm first I, of my nose. I, I, yeah, I was 31 when you know mm. I was like, oh, I'm getting thin back there. I'm solid as a brick shit house in the back, though, guys. It's good back there. It's just this little divot. I'm. I'm That's just what he said. <laughs> oh, look at Jammer though. Jammer's just got like a summer yeah. summer sun. Like just like it's fluffy. He's just like a model. He's a you know, model. Just Jammer, like... He was a not only a founder of a hair club for men. So <laughs> he's, like, right? yeah. he's also a, he's also a member. Yeah. <laughs> Terrible. Yeah. Yeah, uh, but yeah. Well, still is, doing the work. As far as I, I remember, three... Shag Dog has always had this look. Had the high hairline. It was a little bit yeah. lower, but. I mean, because if I let down here, I'll get occasional hairs coming in here. Everybody thought he was like 15 years older than us. Yeah, probably. But I don't care when I go bald, and I, I hope I get one of those horseshoe ones, right? And I'm gonna fucking mullet the hell out of that. I'm gonna ha or ponytail it. And I also yeah, was talking to two girls last week, and they're like, they're talking about mullets. And I was like, I should do a mohawk with a mullet. And then the girl said, yeah, you call it a mole hawk, like M-U-L-L hawk. I was like, yeah, a fucking mole hawk. That'd be awesome, huh? Yeah. Of course, I don't know how the mole hawk will look with my thinning hair here. I think you should put beads in it. <laughs> beads? Maybe I should mm. do some cornrows, huh? Yeah. Do that Sean Paul look. No, Sean Paul. A reggae singer. Oh. You remember yeah. Sean Paul. Everybody knows Sean Paul. Oh, is he in the Fugees? Refugees or whatever? Uh, you're Typical out of shag dog. You're out of Typical shag dog. Oh, that's... They're all in John Oates. Uh, uh, Sh Sean Paul's greatest hits. Is it Sean or Sean? Sean. Sean Paul. Greatest hits. So I got a question for you guys. Did you guys pour and drink that whole beer when I was gone, or have you not poured it yet? Oh, we already drank it, yeah. Oh, it's gone? You're gone okay, yeah, gone. I came in late. What did you guys think? Was it tomato? No, uh, we poured it, and then you came on, and we drank it while you were gone. Yeah, you went on the phone and stuff, too. Uh, yeah. uh, <laughs> sorry, guys. We stopped um, talking and started drinking. So, so Jammer will be able to commiserate with me. Um, I've gotten a... A, a raise and a promotion at work, but sometimes I have to answer the danger phone and the danger phone called. Like the oh, danger okay. phone called, and I just had to just like jump outside real quick and just take it, man. You work at the nuclear power plant? It's, well, it's similar. I don't think people would have died, but people would have been upset. Oh. Sewage plant? Upset. Um, yeah, we'll call it that. We'll call it that. Yeah. But it, it, it was, I but I handled it quick. Hell. I was just like, I handled it quick. I was like, hey, Mr. Boss Man, I, I hear you. Let me get back to you in a big guy. And I came back. So, I mean, is it that important if they called you yet? Hey, we need you here right away. You got to go? It wasn't that important, but it was something no, I just. If it was, would you have to go? So, hey, we need you here. Maybe. Let me ask you this. Would you guys answer the person that signs your checks if they called you? If they call no, no. the person that signs your checks, no. if they call you, are you going to answer no. the phone? 
No, because well, my old job. I want them to leave a message so then I can listen to the message and get gather some information about the tone. Yeah, and my old job, right. some lady in Tallahassee used to sign us. So I didn't even know her, uh, but. At the actual job, when they called me for emergencies, I would never, same thing, I would never call because most times it wasn't, they were like, hey, we're short staff, we need you to come in, uh, unless it was a big ride or something, but that never happened, so I never answered the shit. No, nah, I'd answer it, but... Uh, I'd call them back five hours I do later. like uh, do like having them go to voicemail initially just to get the idea of what they really want. Yeah. I used to let yeah go to voicemail. I call them back three hours. I'd wait two, three, four hours. Oh, I didn't get your message. I've been drinking. Yeah, they can't well, bring you been drinking. Does so. it does it does it make a difference, guy? If, guys, if I say it's a family business, so they know I'm full of shit if I don't answer. Is it a family business? Yeah, yeah. I told you that a long time right. ago. That's all right. All right. So you don't listen. I right, listen. I just forgot. That's why you don't have a girlfriend. I know. You don't listen. Huh? Yeah. <laughs> no, I, I, well, I remember he did something at one time. He got laid off or something, right? He a yeah. long time ago he got a girlfriend and got laid. That's what he told you. And now you're saying he did Wait, something he got, and got laid that's off. That's how he got the family. What the business? hell? That's yeah, how that's, that's how the family business came about. So he got laid and got the family business. Exactly. I need one of those. <laughs> no, we're making up stories now, Jerry. <laughs> Um, I'll, I'll clarify it up for you guys, um, and it'll it'll help. It'll actually help me announce something really funny to you guys. Are gonna like laugh your butts off when you hear this. So, um, first of all, yes, I lost my job. It it sucked. Um, my dad was was running a business, and I've been helping him. You know, uh, expand the business. I've been doing marketing and other things for it. And yeah, you know, like. I, my dad's actually a really smart guy, so it could be any time of day that he's got a good idea or he wants to talk to me about something. So I'm like, ah, I like, I just like jumped out real quick, and I was like, hey, let me call you back. So it wasn't like an emergency or something, but you guys are going to laugh about this. So my dad lives in Fort Myers, Florida, actually Estero, Florida. You guys, have you guys ever heard of Estero? Yeah. I've been to Fort okay. Myers. I don't know about Estero. Yeah, it's, I've never I, been to Estero. Yeah. It's pretty close to Fort Myers, but – um. There's, I think it's in Orlando or Tampa. It might be Tampa. It's either in Tampa or Orlando, but there's something called the ICAST Fishing Conference in July of this year. Um, it's like the 18th to the 21st, but um, I'm actually going to be in Florida um, July 12th through, or sorry, July 17th through the 29th. I'm going to be in Estero, um, the Estero Fort Myers area. I'm going to be go, but I might be traveling up towards um you know either orlando or tampa i think it's going to be in ta i think it, i think everything's going to be concentrated towards the west side which would be tampa right yeah, yeah. tampa's on the west side right, right west yeah, side of the orlando's state? like central yeah orlando is really um, central east yeah kind of north too um no, and I, what sucks is I'm not I'm not gonna have a car when I'm there, but um I do have luggage I'm taking down to my plane. So I was thinking I could at least bring you guys a couple beers down, maybe I don't know, smuggle a couple beers in from Colorado, and we could meet up somewhere and have a, uh, maybe meet up at a brewery. I mean, it seems like there's uh, Florida breweries popping up all over everywhere. So in fact, uh, uh, shit, I don't know about Jammer, but I can take as much time off as I want. I can meet you at Fort Myers. I can beat you anywhere. Only problem is you can't drive the interstate. I can drive, but I choose not to. You don't drive the interstate. I don't drive the interstate, yes. But there's plenty of back roads. Well, I might be able to get a ride up there or something. I, I just wanted to reach out to you guys now and be like, hey, that would be awesome if we could do something, you know? That would Even be if pretty, I just pretty awesome to get together and uh, do a, a few beer reviews or to uh, do yeah. a tour of a uh, – brewery or something like that because uh yeah like i don't know there might be some um breweries in fort myers i don't know it's a, it's a pretty wealthy area and a touristy area. i mean i have to kind of like look into it and see what breweries are out there yeah, i'm not sure what's down there but let me tell you they uh we've got so many here popped up that i mean even dane city uh has one now yeah but they're not only selling on site all right yeah dane city zebra hills has a brewery now uh, of course, Tampa, Brandon area, all that. They had St. Pete. St. Pete had a lot. 
Yeah. Be a Big Storm was one of the ones that started small in St. Pete, Tampa make, area. Yeah. Make big. And make big, yeah. Yes, they make big now. But what's cool and is I, I'm going to be there. I'm going to be there for 12 days. I'm going to be in the state for 12 days, so maybe we can make something work. I'm not that – like, I'm on the west side of the state, so it's, like, it's not that bad, right? Well, like, uh, what, three hours north of Fort Myers? Something like that, two and a half, three hours? Uh, I think I mean, so. I, I'm 20, I'll be 20 minutes from Fort Myers, so I can get to Fort Myers Fort quick. Myers. Fort Myers is two hours, 19 minutes from your location yeah, by car and light that. traffic. Two hours, hours and 19 minutes from here. Mm. Yeah. Nice. Two yeah. hours, guys. Yeah. For you, it'd be much longer, though, Shag Dog, because yeah, you'd be driving the back road. Yeah. yeah. <laughs> Might be about two, 235. Yeah. And yours would be about uh, 19 hours and 50 minutes. <laughs> 19 hours? I'll tell you no, what, dude, I used to start... 19 hours and something to take the highways, but I did the back road thing on Google, and it would take 20. Five hours, twenty six. So an extra six or seven hours. Yeah. Damn. Well, that's okay know. if you like, like the view and you're like, well, you know, going through town. Maybe I can. Maybe I can part. take an Uber half the way, or I can get a ride partially the way. I don't know. Let's figure something out, man. I just it would just be dumb to be that close to you guys and at least not get even if it's just handing you off some hey, beer. I think it was Jerry from uh, Colorado. With a uh, while the riot, while the riot, he went down to met him in his hotel room. Uh, they had a beer review, then they went to a baseball game or whatever, right? Yeah, he had tickets to go to the Rays game, and and I just happened to have tickets at the same game. We sat apart because I was, you know, uh, across the way. I got, Tickets were given to me. But we got together before and after the game yeah. and during and all that stuff. And then after, we, you know, we hung out for a while and stuff. Yeah, so there you go. I mean, you know, that was the time when uh, he was uh, uh, chained up and couldn't be let out of the house. Yeah. Uh, I, I went out and met with Ronald Riot. We did beer well, reviews. I, I could have went. No, but, you couldn't have went. But she would have gone with me everywhere, and then she likes to ruin shit so that I don't want to go. You know, basically yeah. is what happened. I was like, yeah. and so That's why I did a beer review with a hot girl before I didn't tell her anything about it. It was either the beer review or her, and it was the beer review. Problem solved. <laughs> so I have a question for you guys. So if I were to bring down one beer for each of you, what style would you want? I can already say that Shag Dog would probably choose like a a semi-sweet off-dry stout or something like that, you know? But I don't know what Jammer would choose. I don't know. Like, And I'm talking about craft. Like, I, I'm not. I'm, I can't bring you down like a Coors Light or a banquet or whatever. I'm talking about like an actual craft beer. What would you want, Shag Dog? But what would each of you guys want if you could have one style of craft beer? Uh, well, I mean, any style. Yeah, it's gonna be. I don't like IPAs or red IPAs. So anything besides those two, I'd be all right with. I'm okay with uh, some red IPAs. I like. Not right, My not preference right, would be any any stouts, any uh, brown ales, uh, pale ales is like the third or fourth. You lagers, you know, any lager. I mean, I'm there. Yeah, any. Uh, and I'm style. adventurous, so if you brought something that was crazy that he doesn't like, like Belgians or whatever, I'd be all right with Belgian too. Yeah, you'd be all right with the cool thing. Yeah, I I will at least try it. Yeah, Belgians because. I don't like red ales and IP. There's some so red take ales. note. Bring a Belgian and a red ale. <laughs> some red ales I like, but some of them. Are Honestly, all I figure with Shag Dog, I figure a balanced stout with maybe some cool ingredients that he's never had that still are in that realm. I figure that would be gold for Shag Dog. Hey, you put some Aspen Pine in there, some little of that Colorado <laughs> high stuff. Yeah, that'd be good to go. <laughs> Rocky Mountain High. Rocky Mountain High, yeah. <laughs> <laughs> or Rocky Mountain High, all right? Yeah. Beer call yeah. that, right? With some some marijuana, Rocky Mountain High lager, yeah. Oh, yeah. Made with pure spring water, yes. and the natural green of Alpine the marijuana spruce, plant. Yeah, some <laughs> white widow grown in northern Colorado. <laughs> oh, white widow! You know you're strange, Shag Dog. You almost sound like you're a you almost sound like you're a liberal stoner. No, I, I saw a YouTube video. <laughs> 
Yeah, right. <laughs> so, I saw that in a YouTube video. Some guys growing, well, here I got some White Widow and this. Uh, white Widow? What's a fire? I know Panamanian Red. Uh, what the hell is an old shit? Um, skunk. Uh, skunk Queen. <laughs> but else, yeah, that's all I know. You don't know that's about That's all you know, huh? Stuff, that was pretty impressive. Like, you well, sound like you're a yeah. user. Yeah. Sound like you're a user, buddy. Back in my old young <laughs> days, a little bit, I had some. Usually it was some, during the summer in my high school years. I mean, I never bought it. I always had a friend that would, hey, I got some stuff. All right. Yeah. And you trade it for blowjobs. No. <laughs> Just for companionship. Golly. <laughs> <laughs> but no, oh. like, so it. So, Jammer, are you saying that Shag Dog probably has only, like, the chance to come down to see me? You couldn't, like, tag along with him to come down, too? Would you guys be able to come down south? Or? It, it all depends on how my schedule falls out. You know, yeah, usually, I know that. No, I know. Dude, I know that you're – I trust me. I get it, man. You're, like, slammed right to now. Get, uh, a few days and, and kind of set them aside and uh, try to be – but it all depends on uh, when you uh, actually arrive and what you got going on when you're free. Yeah, I'll definitely, um, you know, send Shag Dog like uh, he seems to check his Facebook stuff a lot. So I'll send them like, you know, uh, itinerary or whatever when I know more. I just know it's going to be the 17th through 29th of July in that chunk. 17th through the 29th. All right. Yeah, <laughs> that, that would be so, fun. So, so. Yeah. Uh, because uh, Shag Dog, he... He uh he doesn't drive the interstate. Uh, yeah, I understand that. I can make it down. I'm gonna be I'm gonna, gonna be staying with my hard. folks for that He's whole entire to time. Ride on the interstate. I just, I'm not scared of the interstate itself. I'm scared of other people. I get it. Why are you so sorry? What I was scared? I can't understand this. High speeds and man-made things. So when you've been riding with me on an interstate, only... you've been scared to death. But not, I'm not as bad as when someone else is driving, although you've scared me a couple of times, yeah. <laughs> is it a reaction time? Like, are you, like, is the reaction time of, like, the freeway? No, I think I was in a couple car accidents when I was a kid, and then when I was in the Army, I was on a highway in right. Panama, and I, I hydroplaned and almost crashed. And that kind of so it's like a me. PTSD thing then, basically, right? Yeah, probably a PTSD thing, yeah. Even PTSD. driving sometimes, I get anxiety, yeah, on the road. It was traffic really bad and shit. Yeah, boy. PTSD. I should get a disability for that. <laughs> well, I would hate for any, any of that stuff to happen to you guys. But like, when I'm out there, you know, we'll figure it. out. I'll be there for 12 days, man. If we can't figure something out, like even if I have to hitchhike up there, man, yeah, I'll hitchhike up there. You can't figure out for 12 days and just, you know, unsubscribe mm -hmm. us. We don't deserve you. <laughs> I'm right. gonna I'm gonna bring some, I'm gonna bring some beers for you guys, and if worst case scenario, I'll just drink them if I can't give them to you. You know. All right. But right, it, it would be beer. Right. Jorge, but, uh, no, we'll figure out something because I, I can tell you right now, I should have some days off during that time period somewhere. Yeah. Uh, uh, Shag dog. He basically doesn't work, so what? Uh, he, he's free anytime. <laughs> And uh, so, I mean, I can be free anytime. You know, you're free anytime, anyway. Well, today I got done. It was just too hot out. My car AC sucks. So I was like, okay, I'm done. I made enough for today. I'm done. Without him even knowing he wanted to do beer reviews, I got home. I was like, okay, let me relax. And all of a sudden, Jammer, hey, uh, he likes to do this. Uh, <laughs> I, 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 uh, I can do beer reviews tonight if you want. I don't know what you're doing. It sounds like you're home. <laughs> I, I was yawning. <laughs> so he likes to, uh, yeah, I, was, I just woke up and I was yawning. I was yawning. I was like, oh, I can do beer reviews if you want. Yeah. I think sometimes he's like, uh, you know, I know it's kind of late notice, uh, but I can do beer. He knows I'm like, oh, fuck. You know, now? Two hours from now? What are you talking about? You wanted to do them anyway. Yeah, well, I was going to do the rest of these Fridays, so, you know, you, you picked up the pace on my schedule, I guess. Well, see, now you have to go out and buy more beer. I won't do it Friday now. Oh. Unless there's another holiday. 
<laughs> you guys must be sober as shit, though, after drinking that Modelo. I remember when Shag Dog and I drank the chili mango one, we were so sober at the end. It, like, it almost woke you up because it was so non alcoholic. It kind of does. Yeah, it's like it gives you a little energy because I'm sure with tomatoes there's some vitamins. Yeah, in something, well, something. Fruit. Yeah, it, yeah, yeah. The oh, fruit it just like gives you that little toot, fruit and toot. I mean, we've had cucumber, we've had uh, lime, we've had pineapple, you watermelon. Salad. You guys tomato. have been drinking salad. Yeah, well, we're splitting them, but one, two, three, four. So there's two plus this, three beers a piece so far, pretty much three drinks. Where you get that? Oh yeah. One, okay. All right, two, never mind. Two and a half. Oh no, two, three. Yeah, because yeah, it was twelve ounces a piece. Yeah. yeah. Right here. That'd be one. That'd be one. That'd be two, and this would be. No, that'd be one. one that'd be one two. for you. That'd be two. Actually, only have only had two beers. Here's one beer. Yeah. Uh, no. That you did. You had a half. I had a half. So two halves make one. We uh-huh. both had one. Same thing. We both had one. So there's two. Oh yeah, they are different. Like we both had one. Three. Yeah. Okay. Make your math bigger. <laughs> I was trying to make it slower well, because you would uh, smaller because then you would, would understand. But I no, understand. no, that you would think that you only did one and a half and be like, oh, okay, I'm ready to go. I am ready to go. Uh, I tell you, you've done six. You'd be like, oh god, I can't get That's true. <laughs> Well, you guys, I, I still have one more of these left if you want me to, you know, yeah, let's jump move on. on. You don't have any of those mountain beers? He has a ton I of mountain yeah, beers. I, I, he told you that already. Uh, yeah, I can pull what a mountain beer. What do you guys want? Do you guys want the I'm elephant or the mountain? Elephant or the mountain? Tell me. I think the mountain's more exciting. All right. Yeah. I can't come to the mountain, so the mountain has to come to us. So, yeah. All right. Yeah, I, I, I will review it for the fifth time on this channel. It'll be sweet. Let's do it. All right, let's do it. Let's we let's are. Do it. My eyes are all crazy right now. It looks like they're all bug eyes. We've only had about 10 views, so if it's your fifth time times 10, it'll be about 50 views. We are. Let's put a small beer review. Underlay. <laughs> We will see you on the next one. I am Jammer, he's Shag Dog, and we have a special guest that yeah, just right left right. for some reason. And Jorge the Great. Yeah, Jorge the Great. All right, we'll see you on the next one, guys.